Swine flu has killed another New Mexican. The health department says a 28-year-old man from Lee County died two weeks ago from the virus. Test results just back confirm it was swine flu. Before he got sick, the man was a healthy adult with no chronic conditions. He is the state's ninth swine flu death. The health department has been advising parents whose children show signs of flu to keep them home. And parents are apparently getting that message. A lot more children are out sick than usual. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live in the newsplex with that. Crystal? Dick, officials from the school districts I spoke with today said the absentee rates are much higher than this time last year. And in some cases, they're double. Rio Rancho school officials say they've seen absentee rates in their schools anywhere from 7 to 13 percent. The hardest hit school is Rio Rancho Mid high school last week. 300 kids or 24 percent of the student body called in sick. In Los Lunas, the daily absentee rate is averaging 15 percent of the district student body. Now that's more than 1,200 students out on any given day. And in Albuquerque, some public schools have seen only a small fraction of their students out sick, while others report up to 17 percent of their students are calling in sick. It seems like it's spreading in clusters. One week we'll see it in one part of the city, you know, very heavily in one part of the city, and then the next week we'll see it in a different part of the city, as we expect with pandemic flu. Now, Greenberg says most of the kids are out for about three days, so for now the cases seem mild, but it's not over yet. Dick? Okay, Crystal, there's no way to know for sure how many children are staying home and actually have swine flu because they're not being tested, but seasonal flu has not reached New Mexico yet, so if the absentees have flu-like symptoms, it probably is swine. Today's web question asks if you have kept your children home from school because of H1N1. 7% say yes, 93% say no. That survey is still going on at krqe.com.